Hello everyone and welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. So in the last part we kind of we lost Tess because she got bitten and then she we also got ambushed by the um, the government at the the fireflies drop off. I wish there were some other option. So now we're heading towards um, Joel's old friend called Bill, who's going to try and we're hopefully going to try and get him to give us a car, so we can make our way to any more fireflies we can find at an easier pace. Him um, just to get Ellie off Joel's hands, because obviously she's a big re responsibility, and he can barely take care of himself in this um, post-apocalyptic world. I loved the pace in this game as well, like how it's just gone from a crazy like shootout with infected and like same soldiers to just walking through these woods and just how peaceful it is. Hey buddy. It shows that there still is peaceful parts of the world. So it looks like we're heading up this way. We're still doing okay for ammo for the moment. We've got three hunting rifle shots and about four bullets in each um, pistol. Oh shit. Should we climb it? No. Wire on the top of it. We gotta find a way to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see that. Sorry. I lost myself for a sec. So I think Joel's going to find any any fireflies he bumps into. Get up here and I'll get a look. He's going to want to just drop Ellie off on their hands. Find a new weapon here. So you can improve melee weapons to make them one hit kill enemies. This one has already been crafted so any other like 2x4s we come across or even pipes on their own we can attach scissors to them to make them more deadly. Right, where we, there we go, there's a plank we're looking for. Gonna make across the gap between this roof and that roof. So we'll put it against the wall first. And then we'll run around again. Jump on this generator. Jump on the roof. I feel like this is the part where the game really comes to life, where it's just you and Ellie now on the on an adventure, and you kind of see the connection, the bond, the start to build. Hey, you, Bill. Where do you usually meet him? Different places. You've never been here, have you? I know this is where he lives, but no, I ain't never been here personally. <laughs> and that smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. All right, come on. Down here. Just watch your step. It's a good drop. <laughs> okay, so we can hear clickers now in the environment. Just gotta be very quiet and careful. There's a brick there we can pick up. Is there any other bricks anywhere else in case we need to pick one up? Let's jump back up there a second. Oh, Ellie just dropped me down. I'm gonna go up here first, check this building. We got some weapon parts, it looks like here. Five pieces. We also got some pills. What's she doing? Are you alright? I'm trying to learn how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle. It doesn't sound like I know how to whistle. <laughs> She's blown way too hard. I'm not a good whistler either, so. Pills note, what's this? 
Reminds her, collect more pills, see if I can sc scrounge up some extra ammo. I only have three weeks until the next drop off with Tess. So that looks like a note that Bill's been writing, a reminder note to himself. He's gonna drop off stuff for Tess, but Tess is dead now, so we're his only connection. So Bill's the guy that we, we um, Joel and Tess have been doing like trades with just to keep themselves ticking over. So we've made our way through the upstairs. We've got a downstairs now we can go towards. We're going back outside again so we're going to crouch because there are clickers in the area. Alright so we've got to be extra careful now with these clickers outside. There's one inside that shed right there. And also if I can recall correctly there's another clicker behind that wall. So the plan here is, I'm going to use the brick I've got equipped, take out this clicker, pick up that brick, then take out the other clicker, because bricks are a good weapon to use against clickers, and it saves your emergency melee weapon for other use. So smash his face in. That's it. That's, that guy's been alerted. So we'll get this brick out. The clicker kind of knows I'm around, but he doesn't know exactly where I am. So it's let's kind of sneak up behind him. He's going to inspect where the noise came from, it looks like. So let's sneak up behind him and smash his face in. There we go. Oh, cute couple. Look at them. Right, is actually anything in here? Was it worth doing all that? There's one rag. That's all we got from that shed. And there's probably not going to be anything down here where this clicker was. Oh, just, oh there's a, just two bottles. That's it. Not much use. Um, let me just quickly check if I can craft. Yeah, I can craft a shiv. I'm gonna do that because there's a door ahead where you can open up with a shiv. Is it this one? No, it's not. It's, it must be, yeah, it's that one down below. So we're gonna open this door, break the shiv. Hopefully, we'll get some goodies in here. Probably won't be much. There's some pills actually, which is kind of cool. Some parts and actually ammo for the hunting rifle. Um, I think I might have enough pills now to upgrade my maximum health. I do. 65 pills, it requires 50. Maximum health and also weapon sway. Crafting speed and healing speed are not too important, I, I feel. So let's get the maximum health up. Did I do it? I have to hold it. Hang on, wait there. Maximum health or weapon sway. I feel like health is more important. I don't actually know how much of a difference it's going to make on this difficulty, because... Uh, who knows? It might save me. Shit. It's jammed from the other side. Here, boost me up. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we going to open it? Fair enough. Right. Gotta trust it at some point. Give me your foot. <clears throat> now just open it. Nothing else. Sure thing. Careful. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. <sighs> okay. Ta da! I see another pipe yeah. on the ground there we could use. Thank you. The pipe we've got there was actually better because it's got scissors attached to it and it's like I think it's can be used as a one hit kill. Okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. Just pick up any supplies you can find. <laughs> Gnomes. Yeah. Those are gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. I always thought they were super cute. <laughs> Not fairies, though. They creep me out. <laughs> Alright, then. It's normally the other way around. Fairies are the cute ones, and gnomes are the ugly, creepy ones. It kind of shows like she's got her own opinions because she's not influenced by TV or other kids. It's kind of funny how things turn out. So what have we got here? We've got like what looks like an old um, bar. 
I'm gonna scavenge as much as we can around this little sort of part of the city, this town. I'm not expecting it to be in much though, because Bill kind of runs this place. Would you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who'd. What was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. Uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. <laughs> So many things Ellie has not experienced, like that normal teenage kids would have. She's never got like electricity is pretty much how everything is run these days. Okay, can we go up these stairs? I want to quickly check up these stairs. Maybe we've got some things to pick up around here. More weapon parts. We should be able to craft the weapon slot, um, inventory slot soon. This Bill's town is a. Um, a good place for the character developments. There's a lot of, there's a lot of um, conversations that Joel and Ellie have when they're investigating things. Mandatory evacuation. Evacuate to where? What do you think? Quarantine zone. See, some places got a heads up before the infection showed up. Most didn't. Man, must be hard. Just leaving all your stuff behind like that. That ain't the hard part. Right, there's a safe back there, and I think the combination for the safe is actually on top of this roof. No? That's a firefly pendant. Fireflies were everywhere, huh? Yeah, they were. Hoping to restore the country to what it was. Well, with a vaccine, maybe they will. Maybe. There's a note to Bobby. Okay, I'm not leaving it's town without that safe. Anybody else live in this town? As I know, it's just him. Uh, so that's the combination to the safe that we just ran past. So I'm gonna go over there. I think there's normally weapon parts in there and possibly pills. So we're gonna empty that before we carry on. Because we're gonna need as much upgrades we can get on this difficulty. Because it's gonna get hard. So what have we got? We got 50 weapon parts and 10 pills. That's a good, um, good amount of stuff. 50 weapon parts is a lot. So I think the upgrades, like, starting off cost like 15 each, so that's like, already loads of upgrades you can do, just with them parts. Alright, we've got again a record shop here in this corner. Check the back room, see if there's any supplies we can pick up. There we go, we've got a note, we've also got some tape, what's the note say? Goddamn infected showing up much too close to the church safe house. Looks like I'm going to need to do another round of clearing out the weak spots of the perimeter. Once again, more parts. Always good. Right. Man, this is kind of sad. What is? All this music that's just sitting here. No one's around to listen to it. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. She's never really experienced modern culture. Whoa! Jesus! Whoa, Nelly! What the hell was that? That would be one of Bill's traps. Your friend a bit paranoid, maybe? No, that's putting it lightly. What's the deal with this guy? Well, he helped us smuggle stuff into the city. He knows how to find things. Well, let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him. Just watch your step, you'll be fine. Jeez, feel good with a bow? Yeah, I reckon he is. So there's a shiv door back there, but we haven't got any materials to craft the shiv. It's very hard to do that, get all the shiv doors on the ground of difficulty, obviously because the supplies are so limited. Normally on like easy or medium or so on, you probably have about three or four shivs at this moment. While still using them. Kind of like as well when you pick up arrows, they actually go into your backpack and stick at the top. 
There's a bow here. Yeah. Let me use that. I'm a pretty good shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. So we're definitely stocking up on weapons. Getting a variety of Here. weapons. So we actually have Use ammo this. for each weapon as well, so we, we're not restricted to using one weapon type. Are we going that way here? Yeah, we're putting that up there, that put there in plank. Climb this ladder, and we'll take the plank with us to cross the next rooftop. It's all clear. Come on up. All right. The scenery, so cool. The lighting as well, and the sun, sun rays in your eyes. So we've got a clicker right in front of us. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so you're still not aware. So let's take the shot in this clicker's face. Hopefully we'll kill it in one shot. There we go. Sometimes the arrows can be retrieved, but sometimes they break on impact. Hey, listen. Bill ain't exactly the most stable of individuals. So when we get there, you let me do the talking. You understand? I understand. You gotta be clear on this. He, he don't take too kindly to strangers. All right. Bill's a good guy. He just definitely needs some time warming up to you. So. The bow and arrow is the only ranged weapon. That's kind of like silent, really. See that wire? Stay underneath it, okay? Just keep your head low, and you'll be fine. All right. It's also probably the hardest weapon to aim and take shots with. So, you hear that? Yeah. There's a door ahead here. Some noise going up behind it. Let's check it out. Oh shit, you're gonna go in there? I wanna see what we can find. You're gonna find my body when I die from a heart attack. Don't worry. I got this. Okay, so there's definitely an infected in here we gotta take out. It's not in the bedroom. There's a doorway behind this cabinet, this TV cabinet. He's probably gonna come out of there. It's crouch actually, it's stable, more stable, the aiming. There you go, he's taken care of. Is he dead? Yeah he is. That thing scared the shit out of me. Well, while we're here, let's search the place. <sighs> I could have melee attacked him to save bullets, but the steel pipe has got. If I melee attack now, I use the steel pipe with the um, what's it, the knives inside of it. Oops, wrong button. So um, I didn't want to do that because I wanted to save that for emergencies. Maybe a clicker, or uh, if I'm getting ambushed by a bunch of um, infected. So we just got. We just picked up a note there. Let's read it. Note to brother. It's a longer note, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> okay, so... I think the note pretty much says that... Get out of the house, you know, something like that. Is there anything we can find in here? No, there isn't. So we got some pills in the bathroom, that was it. And we can actually, um... I think we can upgrade something here with pills. We got 40. I want to... Upgrade weapon sway next because the maximum health next upgrade is a hundred pills and only ten more to make the weapon sway a bit better. So we'll go for that one next when we get ten more pills. So we're gonna go through this fence. There's explosives on the fence though. How many bullets have I got for the the rifle? We got five for this. I don't want to go too low on one weapon type because I don't want to be able to have to switch in the middle of combat. So I'm going to use this weapon right here and shoot this. Oh nice. Actually picked up a bunch of ammo there for that other gun. The revolver. No, that's got the most ammo. Let's reload it. I'm going to have to shoot this now as well. 
crouch, get some more accuracy. Got to really make sure you don't miss them shots as well. You know, you don't want to waste ammo. Okay, we got a brick now, so that's more useful against clickers. And anything really, it's better than a bottle. Stay close. Uh, nice, we got more ammo for this gun. Something tells me I'm going to need to shoot a lot of bullets next. It's giving me all this ammo. Alright, before we go through this next door, guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, and we'll start the next part beyond this door, and hopefully we'll find Bill. So I'll see you all in the next part. See ya!